Hey everyone, it's Tina and I'm here on my couch again today to talk to you about autoimmune diseases. Today I'm going to talk about something that's lupus specific since we were just talking about it in my lupus support group and it's fresh on my mind so I figure it's a great time to talk about it. And today I'm going to talk about lupus and sun or UV exposure, the dangers that it poses and the things that you can do to prevent UV exposure and to help yourself um, avoid those issues. So if you have lupus and you don't already know, uh, being exposed to the sun for any period of time can cause a lot of problems, um, ranging from mild rashes to full-on um, flare-ups, and it's which is a really big deal, and we would like to try to avoid those at all costs. So, as you know, when you're outside in the sun, or even on a cloudy day, um, the sun emits UV radiation. That UV radiation is absorbed by your skin into your body, and it can increase lupus activity, which we don't want to do. So, of course, we can't sit at home all day curled up in a ball behind blackout curtains. We have to go outside and live life, go to work, you know, try to be as normal as possible. So, what is it that we can do to prevent the problems that are associated with sun exposure? The first thing that we can do is use sunscreen all day, every day. The recommended minimum uh, SPF is 30. Uh, usually between 30 and 50 is sufficient. I've done a lot of research on uh, SPF and I've talked to my doctors. And before you do anything, of course, talk to your own doctor. But from what I've read, anything over 50 really doesn't have any difference, you know, so uh, 50 to 75 to 100 plus, um, you're pretty much getting the same amount of UV protection as you do with SPF 50. The things you do want to look out for are broad spectrum. You want to um, make sure that you have broad spectrum UV protection. If you can, um, try to get something waterproof, especially if you're going to be um, sweating or going into the pool, but for day-to-day -day usage, something between 30 and 50 um, that's in a formulation that you can tolerate um, is good. And uh, I use a couple of different things. If I'm, I don't like sunscreen, I hate it. So when I was diagnosed with lupus and I was told I had to wear sunscreen all the time, it really upset me. So I have found some products that I can live with and I will share them with you. Um, I am not being paid by any of these companies. I am just telling you things that I use that I can stand. Um, and hopefully you can find stuff that you can stand. Uh, for f women who wear makeup, um, there's, I, I feel like there's more options because there are a lot of foundations, primers, uh, setting sprays and stuff that have um, SPF protection, but sometimes it's not enough and sometimes it's not broad spectrum. And the other problem with um, using makeup alone for your SPF protection is that you have to reapply your sunscreen, otherwise it's pointless. Most sunscreens you have to reapply every three to five hours. If you're sweating a lot or you're in uh, the water, you need to do so more often. So personally, on days when I am not uh, when I don't wear makeup, I use something my sister turned me on to, um, which is this Biore uh, UV Aqua Rich SPF 50. Um, it's a Korean um, a product uh, that you can find online, and it's not that expensive. It's about $10. It's a very watery formula, but it absorbs very quickly, and it doesn't leave behind any kind of goo or stickiness. I'll show you a little bit of what it looks like. So that's what it looks like. And as you can see, it's very fluidy, but when you rub it in, it disappears completely. And it's it disappears pretty quickly. And it's very, very comfortable. As you can see, there's no sticky, there's no tacky it's just it's really nice it feels just like moisturized happy skin i reapply that usually every three hours because the instructions are in korean which i don't read or speak so um i don't know 
if how long it actually lasts but every three hours has worked really well for me i have never gotten sunburned using it um and i have and i've never had a problem with increased lupus activity since i've been using it again talk to your doctor and um research your own products um i don't what works for me may not work for you uh next thing if i'm wearing makeup um, I will, I have really oily, gross skin, so I use mattifiers. One thing I use is Sephora, um, has a mattifying, uh, primer with SPF 20, which is obviously not enough, so I have to combine it with other things, but it makes a really nice base. Again, it's not, this is a little more sunscreeny. It smells like sunscreen and it's a little thicker, so as you can see, it's white and when you rub it in it takes a little more rubbing it's like i said it smells a little more like sunscreen but again it's not tacky and it actually um it doesn't leave you feeling as moisturized but it is nice it's a nice matte um base for your face i also use it on other areas of my body only because i got it on clearance i got a whole bunch of them at the end of last year Oh, another thing with sunscreen you need to watch out for is expiration dates. Almost all of them have them on the bottle. This one had it on the uh, packaging. Um, so make sure that you're using it within its expiration date. But yeah, so I use this on my body because it's less sunscreeny than other sunscreens. Um, and then another thing I use sometimes on top of makeup or if I'm not wearing makeup is this is Super Goop Defense Refresh Setting Mist with Rosemary which is a broad spectrum SPF 50 spray. And I really like this um, as, as a spray. It, it doesn't smell that sunscreeny. Um, it dries very, very matte. Um, it's a really, it has a pretty good feel. Um, and I reapply that every three to five hours. Um, I don't know what it this says to reply reapply every two hours i usually go three hours but um do what the packaging says um again i have found that i have never gotten sunburned if i use it regularly and it has a it again it has a nice mattifying feel it's not too sunscreeny it's not too awful um these are um that i also get at sephora um i also have a mini version that i take with me in my purse so that I make sure I reapply it. And the mini version's like $10, the big version I think is like 20 or something. Um, I can link it um, below if you're interested. Um, now, obviously these are slightly more expensive products, but I've, ha like I said, I have really awful skin outside of lupus. So I do as much as I can to keep my skin um, you know, matte and acne free. Um, other products that I've gotten at the drugstore that also work really well, CeraVe makes um, S sunscreen for face. Um, this is called Invisible Zinc um, and it is water resistant for 80 minutes. So this is good if you're going to be outside. Um, apply it 15 minutes before you go outside and reapply every two hours. Uh, and reapply it every 80 minutes if you're swimming or sweating a lot. Um, I also use the CeraVe and uh, spray sunscreen, um, and this is wet skin spray. This is one of my daily body sunscreens, um, and it is also it's really lightweight. It's oil free. Um, I can use it on my back where I can't reach and in other places that are harder to reach. Um, and it also lasts um, for about 80 minutes if you're sweating or swimming and needs to be reapply reapplied every two hours otherwise. Speaking of applying to places that are hard to reach, a lot of people think that if they wear long sleeves or uh, long pants um, or clothing that they don't need to apply sunscreen to the areas that clothing covers and that is not true. Most clothing does not have UV protection. It has some, obviously it's better than nothing. However, uh, UV radiation can penetrate a lot of clothing and you may not necessarily get a sunburn, but you can still have lupus issues. So apply sunscreen on your whole body. Reapplying on your whole body, that's uh, something that's kind of between you and your doctor and your sunscreen. I tend to reapply like on my upper chest area and on my arms. Um, I tr tend not to reapply lower on my body throughout the day unless I'm going to be outside a whole lot. 
a lot uh, one place that a lot of people forget to apply sunscreen is their lips and if especially if you're going to be outside all day um it may be a small area but it does absorb a lot of uv radiation and also if you have um Strogen syndrome associated with your other autoimmune diseases um you know you need to keep your mucous membranes including your lips moisturized so you need to use some kind of product for that uh, one of the things i use is maybelline makes this baby lips product and it's been really popular i see it everywhere and i don't know if you can see this has spf 20. if you bite your lips if you lick your lips reapply afterward uh, it also the baby lips comes in various colors, but the colored ones do not have SPF protection. Um, a colored product that does have SPF protection is Sugar brand makes all kinds of colors um, and they have SPF 15. Um, and I use those uh, some days if I want like a glossy color, obviously. Today I'm using another lip product, so I put uh, the uh, lip balm underneath it. Another thing to think about is um, during the winter when it's snowing, wearing sunscreen is very, very important because the white snow reflects the UV radiation. So not only are you getting it from the sky, even though it's winter time, you're still getting UV exposure, you're getting it double because it's reflecting up from the snow onto your skin. My sister had a really big problem with that over this winter. She actually got sunburned and she got a really bad rash and it was not good. It felt very bad for her. Um, so make sure that you apply it summer, winter, all year round. The other thing that I've been reading more and more about recently, a lot of friends have been sending me articles and uh, I had known about this before because I had problems with it, but um, a lot of people don't know, is that UV, uh, excuse me, fluorescent lighting and older light bulbs uh, contain, can have UV radiation. So if you're inside in an office building that has older light bulbs or uh, UV light, uh, excuse me, fluorescent light bulbs, you need to wear sunscreen inside all day and reapply, reapply, reapply. Again, this is something that um, you need to talk to your doctor about. I know that there are prescription sunscreens available. Some people need them, some people don't. Another thing that um, I have found that is really helpful um, is I know that when I'm in my car a lot, even whether I'm driving or a passenger, the um, the the car does the car windows do have some UV protection, but not a lot. And I found I was having a lot of problems when I was in the car a lot. So I live in New Jersey, and in the state of New Jersey, if uh, you go to your doctor, they can write you a prescription, and you can send the paperwork. Um, you can go to the DMV website, get the paperwork, send it to the state, and you can actually get a special get a get special permission to have uh, your windows tinted um, on your car to help prevent that um, that exposure. So that is you know worth it for some people not worth it for other people for me um it it's re it's been really really helpful um some states you don't need special permission you can just go ahead and do it um, but make sure that you check with your local laws so um trying to think if there's anything else that i wanted to talk about yes um when you are outside you make sure that even if you're wearing sunscreen and all of um you know and you're wearing hopefully protective clothing. They also do make clothing that has UV protection built in, especially for like beach wear and stuff like that. So that can be really helpful if you're not a big fan of wearing sunscreen on your body. You can wear UV protective shirts, especially if you're going to be outside all day at a theme park, at a beach, at a place where there isn't a lot of shade. Um, big hats, big floppy hats. Right now they're in and they're great because they protect not only your face, but also parts of your body from the sun. As you can may have been able to figure out, if you don't know me, I'm kind of a gothy type. I like wearing black. I'm kind of Morticia Adams. I'm pale, not only because I have to be because of lupus, but also for, as an aesthetic choice. I use parasols and I love them. They are fantastic and you can hold it anywhere you need to to help block the sun and they're cute. You, If you're not into parasols, you can actually just use a regular umbrella too. Anything that just puts a physical barrier between you and the sun is a good thing. So I hope this has been informative and helpful. If you have any questions, comments, put them down there for me. And um, 
If there's anything you'd like me to talk about coming up, let me know. And otherwise, I hope you have a good day. Bye, everyone.